What's up YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. Thank you for tuning in. In this video, I'm just going to talk about three problems I'm having with my 18 Mustang GT that are bothering me. They're not major problems, but they, these are things I'm going to have to address and get taken care of. Uh, thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, please hit that like button. Please subscribe. And I hope you're enjoying your summer. Thank you so much, guys. So we just had heavy rain for the last couple hours. Um, summer thunderstorms. And something I noticed... That really bothers me. And it happens every time it rains or I wash the car. This water. I don't know where it's coming from. Every time it rains, I'm getting water on the door sill. I think it has something to do with the, the weather stripping being bad. Um, I took another video earlier. Uh, I actually took a video yesterday, and uh, the water is actually puddled up here. So, just one of the other little problems I have with my 18 Mustang. But now, for those guys that have the LED uh, door sill pads, I mean, could that cause damage? Are they are they waterproof? But it's definitely something along the lines of the door weather stripping just something a little to aggravate me but those are the drain holes pretty sure right there right there but this stripping here is meant which is salt right it's meant to keep the water from coming here call it a weather stripping what are you going to do? Just another Mustang problem. So, I haven't opened the passenger door since it rained. Um, all this video with the water on the door sill is, uh, this. you know, it's the same day. Like, last night it rained really hard. But now it's, I think it's about 2 o'clock the following day. And still have water here. So, these door weather strippings aren't really holding the water out. Which is a problem to me because over time that's going to cause rust. And obviously I own the car so I don't want to deal with that issue down the road. Alright guys, I hope you could hear this. But this is another problem that's starting to irk me. But I figured out what it is. Just when I have some time I'm actually going to check out why it's doing this. That creaking noise, uh, when I go in reverse or like I go up like a driveway. It's coming from the passenger side taillight. So when the body flexes, that's where the noise is coming from. Initially I thought it was uh thought it was a suspension. It's definitely not the suspension. That creak is coming from this taillight. So yeah, this is this is another problem. So I call this problem number three. These factory lug nuts um, are not; they have like caps on them, and uh, I wouldn't say they strip, but they get stuck in the socket. I would uh, recommend replacing them with a better uh, lug nut. I like uh, I like the Gorilla lug nut brand. Those are for my race stars, but as you could see. This socket is now ruined because this lug nut is stuck inside the socket. Uh, I know this isn't a lug socket, it's just a regular, it's not an impact socket, but um, I actually couldn't get the the lug out of my impact socket and I couldn't find it. I don't know where I put it. But these are like the little problems that bother me about my car. Nothing major, but as you can see, this is a 21mm socket. 
there's some play in it. And this is a, this fits better. Not as much play in it, but these caps on the actual, sorry, the caps on the actual lug nut. So it causes the problem. They're like shitty material. So I definitely highly recommend replacing your lug nuts. Grab some Gorilla lug nuts off Amazon. Uh, we use a 14 millimeter by 1.50. That's the size we use. We have nice beefy studs. I'm trying to see if we can see any damage. To these other ones. It pretty much just sums it up. Those are the three issues that bother me about the car. It's nothing major. Obviously, you know, my motor's ticking, but I could deal with that. But, like, little things like that, I like just to show the other guys out there. Um, I don't know if you notice it or not. Just trying to make my uh, videos more, um, have more info in it than just racing. So, thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe. Those are my new race stars. The other ones are in the box right here. Those are my tires. I got to get them mounted still. That's just the end of the video. Thank you. God bless, guys.